trophy to win in sports, and the quest to win it starts tonight. Stanley Cup playoffs, EA Sports, enough said. And we are about set to drop the puck tonight. Grand Rapids looks to get things going now with the puck. And now it's over to Gettinger. Bumped off the puck. Takes it across the blue line. Moves it to the middle. And it turns off a twig in front of the net. Gettinger's got it in the defensive end. From the left side, they gain the zone. Rockford's got a hold of it along the wall. Now he takes it over the line. Moves the puck across to Luck. Quick shot! Oh, save on the play! Wow! Oh, that's Grand Larceny, James. I mean, he just stole one away from his opponent. What a save. Quick feed to Tepley. The Ice Hogs move to the offensive zone. Out of midair, he swats it down to the ice. Passes ahead from the right side. Rockford's ready to go on the attack. The Ice Hogs have it from the corner. Here's a short pass to Tepley. Finds nothing but air on that shot. Pokes the puck away. Into the offensive end now. The Griffins gain control of the puck. Player goes down to the ice. There's the referee's hand in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty on the way. Time for the officials to hand out the judgment. The Ice Hawks are going to be shorthanded, tripping the call. The Griffins will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. An opportunity here to go up by one on the power play. You know they've worked on this in practice. It's something you do, your repetition. This is what prepares to be big in these moments. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Takes a bump but hangs on to the puck. Hard hit, frees up the puck. Coming to the front of the net. Oh, spectacular save right there. Wow. Unbelievable. I mean, it was all but in, and he steals it because of that last ditch attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James. I really want to look at this last save again, James, because this is about taking it to the next level when you have this level of competitiveness, athleticism, and desperation and urgency in your game. You know that goaltending coach, they can't just teach this. This is instinctual, and this is what winners are made of. Great poke by Gettinger. Fantastic save! An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. Oh, and he misfires on that. Huge steal in his own end. Great hand-eye coordination as he gets the puck back. And the power play unit comes up empty on that one. James, the PK was a specialty team that I actually played on, and the good aggressive habits there, and it leads to the kill. Rockford's got him along the wall. Comes up with a stop. Puck is frozen, and we'll get a face-off. Still lots of time left in the period. Still scoreless in this one. Peregrine's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Takes the feed. Oh, a violent collision in the open ice. Oh, the Again, it was absolutely incredible. You're under pressure, you're under attack, really under siege, and you find a way to get to the puck. This is the stop that champions are made of. Both teams are set, they're ready to drop the puck.
the Clippers win that offensive zone faceoff. With the steal. He's it up from the corner. Scores! It's in the back of the net. And it comes from an unlikely source because that's his first career playoff goal. Well, he's been relentless, James, in this playoffs. And you know what? He's found a way to find the back of the net. That's going to be a huge confidence boost for himself and his teammates. There's so many ebbs and flows in a playoff series, James. You want to make sure that you get on the board first. Well, mission accomplished here right away. They're dictating. The Griffins are first to light the lamp tonight, and let's see where it goes from here. There's been some back-and-forth action, and you have to believe that sometimes when there's one, there's more to come. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. <laughs> and the nerves when you're a rookie and that goal is going to do nothing but give him confidence. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. Grand Rapids has really pushed the pace over these last few minutes leading by a pair. Rockford's on the attack. Scooped up along the wall by Kindle. Made the stop on the play. The Griffins continue to lead midway through the first. They have really put on an offensive clinic so far. The Ice Hogs win the draw and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Here's a blast. Denies him. He got all of it. Hutchinson's going to elect to just hang on for a whistle. Well, he hasn't been busy, James, and I like that he landed on this when he's physically engaged and keeping himself in it. Puck possession so critical in today's game, and the official ready to drop the puck right here. Moves it quickly over to Shine. The Griffins will play it from the defensive zone. Grand Rapids plays the puck along the boards. And now it's grabbed by Baddock. Rockford's got the puck in the defensive end. Drives to the paint. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Hutchinson. Listen, Jane, the shooter's in the slot. This is as high danger as it can get, and he challenges. He's set, ready to go in great position and makes the save as a result. Beargren's won the faceoff. Pushes it across to Hiroshi. Across the line and on the attack. Quick pass to Beargren. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Good heads-up defensive play as he extends the stick. Here comes the call from the official. Well, it's pretty obvious that it's a two-minute minor, but he certainly didn't like it, James. He's going to contest it, but guess what? The official ain't listening. to the ice. It's our first opportunity to get a glance at the special teams unit. First power play opportunity for this team. It's going to start in the face-off circle, getting possession with the win, and then looking to... The Griffins gain possession of the defensive zone. Can't maintain possession after that hit. And now he angles it across to Cini. To the front! And somehow he hangs on. And he shut the door on that last play. And they get the puck out of the danger zone. Moves it to Cini. Stopped by the goaltender. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Hootman's ready to take the draw here on this power play. And they win the defensive zone faceoff. Puck clears the zone. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Receives the pass. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Scrum along the wall. Lost, not been ready to get back on the ice. Penalty expires. You really have to admire the effort of the penalty killing unit on that one as both teams are back to even strength. That's a great job by the PK to have the ability to be aggressive and strong on the puck. Can hang on to the puck after taking a knock. The Griffins move the puck in the defensive zone. Grand Rapids plays along the wing. 
slides the puck over. Quick feed to Kaiser. Handles the puck. Takes it to the front. Puck grab by Gutman. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. And that slides right out to center ice. Taken along the wall by Kaiser. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. The Griffins are holding down the lead here late in this first period. They have looked really good offensively so far. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Rockford's crossed the line and on the attack. Picked up along the boards by Sorella. Puck picked up by Strand. Cuts to the front. And he makes the save with ease. And player holds down to the tripping penalty coming up here. The Ice Hawks have been handed a two-minute penalty for tripping. They clear the zone. Nice zone entry on the left side. Here's a short pass to Hermosi. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Angles it over to Luck. And he takes the feed. Takes a shot. Big time save with the blocker. They are really dialed in here tonight. Moves it quickly over to Lipen. Still some precious time left on this power play as they get set to drop the puck. The Ice Hogs take possession here inside the offensive zone. Denied that one. Edvinson's moving the puck through his own zone. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Here's a chance to clear the puck from his own end. Both teams are now back to even strength as the power play has expired. Well, that power play really wasn't effective at all, James, and Coach won't be happy. A lot of possession time, but it correlated to nothing. You have to create some motion and be quick to be able to open up seams and lanes to the net. Ralston's going to play it against the half wall. Quick pass to Cates. Shot! Oh, and he misses on a grade A plus scoring chance there. Well, he's right exactly where he wants to be. He's got the puck on his stick, just unable to put it in the mesh. Slick feed. Puck moved over to Del Mastro. Well, fun start to this one as period number one comes to an end. We've still got lots more still in store. Kids are coming out on the ice here to play the little mini prospects game. And we'll be back with more in a moment. It's a blue sedan.
and we are just moments away from the start of period number two. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up for the first 20 minutes? Grand Rapids is a team that came ready to play, James. I mean, right from puck drop, they had the urgency, and they found a way to get the puck to the net. Just have a look at the scoreboard where they have a two-goal lead. And it doesn't reach the net because it goes off a stick. Poked away at center by Cini. Del Mastro's into the offensive zone now on the attack. Grand Rapids has it in the defensive end. On the attack along the boards. Shot denied by the goaltender. Goaltender covers up and will get a faceoff. Lots of time left in this period. And it's a comfortable 2-0 lead we're looking at right now. Locks them up on the draw as they take possession. Oh, and the stick falls on the play. Well, and that's a tough one, James, when you're in a prime scoring area and you have to get back to the bench as quick as possible. So you go from being there and then being at the bench. Worst. the better offensive club to this point and that's why they lead here in this second period the Griffins win the draw here they come inside the neutral zone moves it to Strand great use of the stick at center by Luff Grand Rapids has it against the half wall great save by the goaltender on that redirect Love the way the goaltender gets tight to the shooter here. The puck's in the low slot. You want to take away time, you want to take space. Goaltender does it, makes the save. And he takes the feed. Works it across to Edmondson. Oh my goodness, it stayed out. What a save. It was all but in, James. And that athleticism and the will to get to that puck, that was on display. And he made the save to keep that one out of the net. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Rockford's got a hold of it against the wall. He says, let's get physical on that play. Quick feed to Shine. He carries the puck up along the wing. And he takes the dish. And he had the answer on that play. Here's a short pass to Rafferty. Takes a lot, but still hangs on. What a stop! Grand Rapids has possession of it now. Here he is. Scores! His first of the playoffs! And the rookie gets it done! Well, every athlete wants to establish themselves as a playoff performer. Well, the rookie, an impressive start to leaving a lasting impression. The Griffins look like a freight train here in period number two, continuing to find offense. Well, there's no question that they're steamrolling their opponent here. I mean, the ice is tilted, and it is one way, James. They found a way to maintain possession. How about the shots they're getting on net? Unbelievable. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. And the body language on the bench says it all, James. They're all looking up at the time on the clock to see if they'll continue to run. I kill off this penalty when they're down a bunch of goals. Can't get frustrated with their power play. Stick and execute to the game plan. And part of that is hitting that weak side for the cross crease one-timer. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. Great pressure with the stick. And he slides it quickly to Gettinger. The Griffins looking against the half wall. And it's a quick pass to Gettinger. The cannon from the point! Rockford's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. Moves it quickly over to Del Mastro. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And they put it off the glass and out. Now the shorthanded unit, they find a way to get to this puck first, James. And the tough part there is you've got to get it on your stick and off your stick quick. As you know, the power play unit is going to be coming. This is done perfectly. With a comfortable lead, James, some would say that that power play really wasn't a big deal, but I would say different. It's really important that you push, you continue to work on your habits, because the timing could be different next time. 
Oh, what a stop as he uses his paddle to sweat it away. The Griffins take it across the line. Oh. Pinned up along the boards. Grand Rapids takes possession along the wall. Here's the shot. Oh, what a close save. Wow. The Griffins lead in a big way here in this second. They have been on fire offensively. They win the draw and go on the attack. Delayed penalty coming up here. Looks like slashing is the call. Let's see what the officials say. The Ice Hogs are getting penalized for slashing. The Griffins once again send out their power play unit. Power plays are a funny thing. Sometimes they can take away momentum. They have to find a way to generate some now, James. It happens all game. They have to find a way to get a good entry. The setup is the most important part. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. And a heads-up kick pass over to his teammate. Nice dish from the left wing. Pelosi's team is flying out there, James. I mean, this is a blowout. He already has one. How many more is he going to get? They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. Grand Rapids wins possession right off the draw. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. Playing with confidence is one thing, but then you can be overconfident as well, James, especially when you have a lead. You want to make sure you're in good positioning to be able to backtrack and help out your defense. And that's off a stick. Poked away in the offensive end. Trying to clear the puck from his own end. The Griffins are going to have to move it up quickly here if they're going to capitalize on this power play. Rockford's man is out of the box, and we're back to even strength. In any team, you have to have players who are willing to buy in and execute on their role. And this team, this PK unit, certainly delivering in that area. Each player knows exactly what they have to do. They're getting out there. They're doing it. Taken by Healy. Moves into the slot. Decides to think about it. Sends one up to shine. Moves the puck along the half wall. From the point, they take control of it. And that's poked away by Shine. And that plays offside. We got a face-off coming up. Grand Rapids seems to be scoring on every single opportunity based on the chances they've created up big here in the second. The Griffins win the face-off at center. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Shine. Steps inside. Takes a shot. Too much traffic in the lane. The Griffins played along the wing. Handles the puck at the point. Off a stick. Good hit to pump him off the puck. Grand Rapids has it behind the cage. Quick pass to Luck. And it goes off a stick. And he makes the save. They are really feeling it now here in the Ozone. Let's get the call. Beargren's going off to the box for two minutes. Rockford's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Power plays, more time on the ice, the ability to get that puck moving. These players know exactly what they're doing. They work on it in practice. Spoke to some of them earlier today at the pregame. And they talked about the execution and the precision in particular with their puck movement. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. Looking to break out here on the power play. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Hiroshi. Rockford's got the puck along the wall. Oh, he got all that. What a save by Hutchinson. This is a dialed-in goaltender. Very aware. Knows where the shooter is in that low slot and makes the save. Lipen's ready for the draw on this man advantage. The Griffins take possession off the faceoff. Loses his balance on the play. Jostling for the puck, but still maintains possession. Sends it over to Lipen. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Bergren standing up, ready to go. 
There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. The Griffins have just absolutely dominated here. Look at the scoreboard. They've dominated in shots as well here late in the second. The Ice Hogs come up empty-handed on the power play. We're back to even strength here. Came up with the save on that play. Body language says it all, James. Have a look at the unit here. Every single one of them deflated. They know that they needed to score. And this is the expectation of the power play. And they go back to the bench with their heads facing their skates. Grand Rapids continues to lead late in the second period. They've had no shortage of scoring chances tonight. Rockford's got a hold of the puck. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Sends a pass over. Puck scooped up by Gutman. Sini's got it along the wing. Moves it to Allen. Back at the point, they set it up. Oh, what a save by Hutchinson. Oh, great read as he pokes it away. Deflected in front. Made the stop on that play. A timely save is everything to your team. And this goaltender, he bails his team out. And loses possession after a solid hit. Pass back to the point. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Puck battle along the boards. Picked off by Kaiser. Quick pass across to Luff. And he takes the pass. And there's the horn. Two down, one more to go. Both teams will get a chance to uh, catch their breath and get ready for a big third period next. Welcome back. James Sabalski ready to bring you all the play-by-play. -play. Curious to see if there was any message sent in the room in that second intermission because it has been a blowout thus far. I wonder if they might even just run the clock. Stars! And the kid comes up clutch here in the postseason. Oh, he does it. James gets his first playoff goal. I mean, it's incredible the confidence that this should give him. I mean, the pressure and the stakes are high, and he delivers. Rockford's got one back, but Cheryl, they need more. They need more, and they're going to have to pay the price to get to the paint, the most coveted spot on the ice, fight through traffic, and find a way to get the puck to the net. Takes the puck at the point. Here's a pass to the middle, and that's stopped. Hutchinson's got the puck. He's going to hang on for a whistle and slow things down. Well, he's been shelled, hasn't he, James? He's weathered every storm that's been thrown at him, and now he elects to pounce on this puck. It's a nice, safe play. He anticipates well, and he holds on for the whistle. The Griffins start with the puck in their own end. From the open ice, they gain the line. Oh, what a score! and let the creativity flow. Grand Rapids hasn't allowed for any let up in the third period. They continue to apply that pressure. They're applying the pressure and they've dominated the game right from puck drop. I mean, their opponent has no answer or any pushback because of the way they're playing. And that was the player in front. Hutchinson's got the puck and he's going to hang on. Lots of time left in this period. The Griffins just recently adding to their lead. They're now up by three. Koopmans won the draw on the attack. Oh, that'll get the fans on their feet. What a stop with the gloves. Hutchinson's had a solid night between the pipes, James. I mean, he's done everything he could to stop the puck, as indicated by his save percentage. But his team has also been really strong. Got the confidence of their netminder, and they've created a ton of opportunities. 
Grand Rapids looks to break out in their own end. The Griffins play it along the boards. Oh, and an even bigger save on the slapper. Feeds it to Cini. Now a quick pass to Kaiser. Great save by Hutchinson. Officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. Rockford's got the puck inside the offensive zone. And he blocks a shot. Great defensive play. Scooped up along the wall by Del Mastro. Moves the puck over to Tepley. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Let's it go from the slot. That goes off the post and stays out. The Americans might be dead. Score! And the rookie gets his first playoff goal. Well, it's so important to manage the expectation and the nerves when you're a rookie, and that goal is going to do nothing but give him confidence. Well, without a ton of time and space in that high slot area, he makes the right choice of selection of shots with that quick snapshot, pulls it into the feet, disguises the angle, and beats the goalie clean. Rockford's clearly sending a message that they're not going to roll over in this one. With a two-goal deficit, they have to have desperation and urgency. They'll need two players on the puck at all times. Retrieval to possess the puck is necessary. Quick feed to Luck. Oh, I thought he had it. What a chance there. Oh, James, I thought he connected on that one. He's going to be disappointed, but he's all around the net. We're still in the early stages of this period. The Ice Hogs are still trailing by two. Rockford's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Slides the puck across to Tepley. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. Takes the feed. Great reach with the poke check by Edvinson. The Griffins have it now. Slides it across to Strand. Rockford's got the puck against the boards. Shot! Absolutely no fear to get in front of a slap shot. Oh, so good. oh my goodness, what a star! Oh, that's unbelievable, James. I have no idea how he got to that puck. It's some gymnastics at its finest. And as play continues, listen to these fans. They start to get loud and recognizing what we temperature of this game and hey the fans are now in it they're all on board and guess what the goaltender knows it more than half the period left to play the Griffins have some breathing room as they lead by a pair it's 4-2 nice job tying up his opponent the Ice Hogs have it against the wall and he slides it quickly to Sorella through the open ice they're picking up steam moves it to the middle scores what a That's what you call having a knack for the net, James. When you get in tight and you're sniffing around, you better get that puck off quickly because you know there's defenders all in around you that are going to come and close. Rockford's got to be feeling confident now getting that one back, Cheryl. And it puts a lot of pressure on the opponent, James. They've held the lead and they've given up one. Now they're within one goal, which means it's striking distance in the third period. As a defender, you know when they're coming and they got to win this faceoff and dictate the pace. Moves it around along the half wall. Sends it out in front. What a chance, but they can't connect. Tries to get it to Koopman. Here's a chance! Oh, that's a huge stop by Hutchinson! Hammers one! Oh, what a block! He'll get a cut! Oh, what a save! He stopped it! Wow! Well, that's an intangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to save. Right continues here, but this crowd's still buzzing after what we saw. What a stop that was! Oh, uh, yeah, and they're saying thank you to the goaltender right now, James. They're still on their feet. They're electric right now. And really, it's a nice feeling. Why? Because it doesn't always go this way. So when you have it, you embrace it. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. Oh, and he just puts it wide of the net. Sometimes players get into those scoring areas. And they try and get a little too cute. And that's a result right there, not hitting the net. Grand Rapids will try to make something. Scores! So that's number two, Connor. Yeah, he's been all over the puck tonight. He's feeling it. He's confident. You got to believe. Looking for the 
I love this snapshot from in tight, James, that beats the goaltender, but how about the will to get to those tough areas? I mean, that's what it's all about. You can have the skill, but you got to have the will. Grand Rapids has to be feeling good at this point of the game now, up by two in this third period. I mean, you're not complaining about this if you're a player, right, Cheryl? Uh, you can't be. I mean, it's been a, a game that's been real competitive. It's been neck and neck. Now you find yourself sitting with a two-goal lead late in the third period. Now you got to find a way to close it out. Sometimes it's the most difficult spot to be in just to see it through to the end, James. But where would they rather be? Can't get a hold of that pass. Takes a shot. Oh, he kind of struggled with that one, but he got just enough to keep it out. And that's a great hands up in the defensive zone to force the turnover. The Griffins carry it along the wall. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Kaiser's been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. And there's the whistle stopping the play. Well, you don't see this very often, James. The first penalty is called. It's a delayed call, and then multiple infractions afterwards. They put themselves in a real tough spot. The Ice Hogs roll out their man advantage unit, and they've got lots of time with this five on three. Oh, and that is a lot of time on a five on three. You have to have a sense of urgency here, though, because if you pop one by, you still have the man advantage. And the puck leaves the zone. Slides it over with pace to Strand. Along the half wall with the puck. Centering feed! Dishes it off again here! And he denies that! Rockford's got the puck along the wall. There's been so much offense in this game, James. It's been real entertaining for us and the fans in the building. Listen, I was more of a defensive specialist, so I wouldn't have been up in the town, but clearly the game's changing. Hutchinson's got the puck, and he's going to slow things down. Well, he's slowing things down because his team has been under siege, James. It's the third period. It's a tight game, and he elects to get the whistle. I like this decision. It's the right one. Now everyone can get a rest, and Coach can get the right personnel out there. Puck slid down the ice. The Griffins PK unit delivers on that. James, I remember protecting a lead at the Olympic winner game. Let's go! Right on the doorstep. Tucking that one home. That's what you call taking advantage of a fortuitous rebound, and you have to be able to smell it and sniff it out because he has great hand eye coordination to be able to pick that one up and put it in the back of the net. Rockford's finally shown some pushback in the third, and they've got a goal here. It's amazing, James, how a game can change within the game, and that happened right there on that last sequence. Getting to the middle of the ice, fighting for possession, and that's a sense of urgency late in the third. The official blows the play dead as the puck goes out of bounds. The Ice Hogs have had more chances offensively, but they have not been able to convert trailing here in this third. Grand Rapids takes possession off the faceoff. And a nice save there as play continues. Oh, what a save on the puck! Oh, what a save on the puck! Oh, that's such an athletic save, James. I mean, that's just all about competing, finding a way to get to the puck. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Grand Rapids has the puck. And now he moves it quickly to Luff. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Takes the feed in the... And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. The Ice Hogs win it. Grand Rapids gains a hold of possession. Gettinger's got the puck. Takes the knock, but he's still got the puck. That opportunity's rejected. Great reach with the poke check. And he slides it quickly to Rolston. Gets the puck back here in the neutral zone. The Ice Hogs have it now. To the front! Makes the save, but barely with that one. The Ice Hogs have it behind the cage. Takes the pass.
Griffin's the zone. Puck grabbed by Johansson. Here's a short pass to Bergren. Grabs control of it at the point. The Ice Hawks gain possession in their own end. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Grand Rapids plays it up ahead. Lost guard in the offensive zone. With the stop. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. The Ice Hogs have been the more active team offensively tonight with plenty of scoring chances, but they continue to trail because they haven't finished late in this third period. A great big time hit against the wall there. Oh, that was a tough one, man. That was thunderous, and it even broke the pane of glass. There's going to be a stoppage in play here. Here in the late goings of the period, Grand Rapids has a one-goal lead. They're leading 5-4 in what has been a very entertaining display of offense. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. High speed at center moves up ahead now. Here's a chance! Nice save from point blank range. He does a great job of having sound position to play based on where the puck is in that low inner spot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes the save. Good stand-up hit. The Ice Hawks have pulled the goaltender here. They've got the extra attacker out on the ice in hopes of a goal. There's a great left save by Hutchinson. What an incredible save in a high-danger scoring area. I mean, right in the slot, he's in perfect position to make that club save. They've got the extra attacker out there, and Cheryl, we know what this means. Well, you have to get possession with that extra player on the ice. They'll look to win that draw and convert on their opportunity. Into the offensive zone. Wide open net. The lane was plugged up, and that shot's blocked. Towards the game, he scores! His first of the playoffs, and the rookie gets it done. Well, every athlete wants to establish themselves as a playoff performer, while well, the rookie, an impressive start to leaving a lasting impression. The Griffin's persistence pays off as they get the empty netter, and that should probably do it here for this one, Sheriff. Yeah, that should be the insurance marker, James. They've got a comfortable lead now. They can all breathe a little bit lighter, and that should finish it off. And that brings in to this one here this evening. An aggressive team effort as they take the first one and draw the proverbial first blood in the series, Sheriff. And yeah, and that's exactly how they would have drawn it up, James. You want to make sure that you are the one that is stacked play and pace of the game right off the top and you want to set the tone well they did that and now their opponent's squeezing their sticks a little tight for Cheryl Pounder I'm James Sabalski the playoff action continues here next time here on EA Sports